गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन डियर फ्रेंड्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग द स्प्लीन इन द स्प्लीन देर आर मेनली सिक्स पैटर्न सो वी कैन सी ऑल दिक्स पैटर्न हियर स्प्लीन छी डेफिशंसी स्प्लीन यांग डेफिशंसी स्प्लीन नॉट कंट्रोलिंग द ब्लड स्प्लीन छी सिंकिंग दीज फोर आर डेफिशियंट पैटर्न ये चार डेफिशिएंसी के पैटर्न है द ऑल द फोर्थ पैटर्न आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट द फर्स्ट पैटर्न इज वेरी जनरल पैटर्न विच इज वेरी कॉमन पहला पैटर्न बहुत ही जनरल पैटर्न स्प्लीन चीज डेफिशिएंसी दिस पैटर्न इज वेरी वेरी कॉमन विद most of the person who are doing mental work like all the doctors and all the persons like acupuncturist or anyone who is doing lots of mental work the first pattern is very common spleen chi sinking ye pehla pattern bahut hi common hai and if you are not treating the first pattern then we are moving to the pattern number 2 means if the first pattern is untreatable then we are reaching to the pattern number 2 and body becoming cold also so this is added ki ab body thandi bhi ho gayi so this is the pattern number 2 so the cold body with pattern number 2 Pattern number three, spleen is not controlling blood. Just hold the blood. So we can see when the spleen is weak, not able to control the blood. We see in the dengue fever. In the dengue fever, platelet count is going down. Platelet ka count kam hone lagta hai. then if the bleeding starts it's a difficult to stop the bleeding agar bleeding start ho gayi to use stop karna bada kathin hai so third pattern spleen not controlling the blood will be applicable here whenever the bleeding is not stopping jab bhi bleeding nahi rukti hai bleeding hoti rehti hai yani spleen use hold nahi kar pa rahi spleen is not able to control the blood we are using third pattern even third pattern is useful for the low platelet count jab kisi ka platelet count kam ho jata hai to hum isi pattern ka prayog karte hain the fourth pattern is spleen chi sinking it means now spleen is becoming very very weak bahut hi kamzor ho gayi spleen is holding all the organs in the normal position spleen ka kaam hai sare organs ko apni पोजीशन में होल्ड करके रखना है स्प्लीन चीज सिंकिंग वेन द स्प्लीन बिकमिंग वेरी वेरी वीक नाउ द ऑर्गन विल नॉट बी ऑन देयर ओरिजिनल पोजीशन एंड दे विल बी मूविंग डाउन अब ऑर्गन अपनी पोजीशन में नहीं रह पाएंगे लगेंगे दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रोलेप्स और टोसिस टोसिस नीचे गिरना so we will be seeing all the patterns one by one but before seeing all the pattern let's quickly go through with the few things connected with the spleen so let's see this chart whatever we are eating maybe we are drinking the water or taking the juices or taking any type of the nutrient it's going in the stomach हम कुछ भी खाना खाते हैं तो हमारे पेट में जाता है देन द स्प्लीन इज एब्जॉर्बिंग दिस स्प्लीन इज एब्जॉर्बिंग दिस ओके एंड रिमेनिंग पार्ट go in the small intestine large intestine then in the form of stool it is going out 
रिमेनिंग पार्ट तो स्प्लिन ने जो एब्जॉर्व कर लिया वो इधर चला गया बाकी का इधर चला गया छोटी याद में बड़ी याद में स्टूल बन के बाहर निकल गया सो स्प्लिन इज डूइंग द ट्रांसपोर्शन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ दिस फ्लूड विच इज वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर द बॉडी सो यू आर ईटिंग द रोटी चपाती यू आर ईटिंग द दाल यू आर ईटिंग द ब्रेड बटर so whatever is good for you that is taken by the spleen okay now spleen will send in the form of fluid to the lungs spleen is a lungs ko bhej degi now the work of spleen is done here now lungs will receive this body fluid from the spleen so lungs are always receiving pure fluid from the spleen but if the spleen is big agar spleen kamzor hai then spleen will be making lots of phlegm kapha dampness that is also going to the lungs then lungs will be getting lots of dampness lots of kapha lots of phlegm whatever is made by spleen that will be transported to the lungs jo bhi spleen banayegi woh lungs ko transport kar degi if the spleen is good it is making pure fluid that will reach to the lungs and if spleen is bad it will make dampness that will also reach to the lungs जो भी स्प्लीन बनाएगी वो लंग्स को पहुंच जाएगा लेट्स थिंक दैट स्प्लीन इज गुड चलो हम मानते हैं कि स्प्लीन अच्छी है स्प्लीन इज वर्किंग फाइन सो सेंडिंग द गुड बॉडी फ्लू टू द लंग्स नाउ लंग्स विल जनरेट द एनर्जी लंग्स विल जनरेट लॉट्स ऑफ एनर्जी इन द चेस्ट कैविटी ओके बट if you remember i already have discussed maybe in some class then suddenly what will happen so lungs will be generating lots of energies the remaining the lungs is sending it down to the kidney now the lots of fluid lung is sending down to the kidney then kidney will make the urine and expelling it out is tarah se sari prakriya chalti hai ki humne khana khaya to spleen ne jo bhi body fluid banaya wo lungs ko gaya lungs ne urja ka nirman kiya aur kidney ko bhej diya kidney ne urine ke roop mein bahar nikal diya jitna nikalna tha nikal diya so we have taken the food which is absorbed through the spleen sent to the lungs lung is generating the chi then other parts sent to the kidney and kidney is making the urine and expelling it out so in this way this action is going on so here spleen play very important role now on the other side spleen is a lymphatic organ dusri or spleen hamara lymphatic organ hai the meaning of lymphatic organ having many wbc or the white blood cells in the human body we are having many lymphatic organ hamare sharir mein bahut sare lymphatic organ hai jaise tonsils all the lymphatic organ are providing immunity they are full of wbc white blood cells the white blood cells are policemen white blood cells ko hum kehte hain कि हमारे शरीर के पुलिसमैन मैन है सो देर आर मेनी लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑल द लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू प्रोवाइड इम्यूनिटी हमारे जितने भी लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन होते हैं वो हमें इम्यूनिटी प्रोवाइड करने की कोशिश करते हैं लेट्स सी इन दिस इमेज लुक एट दिस इमेज 
सो बी कैन सी दर लॉट्स ऑफ इन मैनी इन्फेक्शन हाँ कई प्रकार के इन्फेक्शन में हमारी लिम्फलोड का इनलार्जमेंट हो जाता है सो लोकेट हियर थाइमस ग्लैंड इन द चेस्ट इट इज ए लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन देन इन द ग्रोइंग एरिया वी आर है मैनी लिम्फेटिक लिम्फ नोड्स इन द आर्म पिट वी आर है लिम्फ नोड in the neck we are having many lymph node spleen is also lymphatic organ all the lymph node means they are having white color fluid that is called lymph full of wvc lymph ka ek hi kaam hai to provide immunity lymphatic drainage so what is the lymphatic drainage the lymphatic drainage means it is draining all the toxins out from the human body spleen play very important role for providing immunity because spleen is a lymphatic organ so the first action of the spleen is absorbing the food the second action of the spleen is it provide immunity because it's a lymphatic organ ये हमारा लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन है द थर्ड थिंग इज स्प्लीन ऑल्सो हेल्पिंग टू मेक द ब्लड बिकॉज वट एवर वी आर ईटिंग दैट पार्ट सेंड टू द हार्ट एंड इन सम वे लाइक लंग्स एंड हार्ट टूगेदर मेकिंग द ब्लड सो हियर वी कैन कंसिडर देर आर थ्री एक्शन Right now we are not discussing about the blood. We are discussing three action of the spleen mainly. The action number one. I will repeat. Whatever we are eating, from that, it absorbing the body fluid, sending to the lung. This is the action number one. The action number two. It's providing immunity. The action number three. we know spleen means muscle so the skeletal muscle it's provide nutrient to the skeletal muscle that's why in the tcm in the five element cycle whenever we are talking about the muscles we are talking about the spleen jab bhi hum muscle ki baat karte hain to hum baat karte hain ki spleen if your muscles are weak then we talk about you see you have to work on the spleen agar aapki muscle kamzor hai aapko spleen pe work karna hoga so this is the third number so spleen is responsible to generate chi spleen is responsible to provide immunity and spleen is responsible to strengthen your muscle and all things is done by spleen because so spleen play very important role okay now so next thing i would like to discuss with you here few things about the spleen number 1 <clears throat> so this is the blood vessels this is the arteries who are bringing the pure blood from the heart arteries ke andar pure blood hota hai and this is the vein <clears throat> who is having impure blood so spleen is responsible to hold the blood inside blood vessel whether we talk about the arteries or we talk about the veins chahe hum artery ki baat kare ya veins ki baat kare to hold the blood inside the blood vessels this is the work of the spleen okay now if the person is having bleeding or person is not able to hold the blood it means the spleen is deficient iska arth hai ki spleen kamzor hai then we have to strengthen the spleen to hame spleen ko strengthen karna hoga this is the action function of spleen 
द स्प्लीन इज गिविंग स्ट्रेंथ टू बोथ आर्म एंड बोथ लेग हमारे दोनों हाथों को और दोनों पैरों को स्प्लीन ताकत देता है मीन्स ऑल द फोर एक्सट्रीमिटीज आर गेटिंग स्ट्रेंथ फ्रॉम स्प्लीन सो सपोज समन इज टेलिंग यू आई एम फीलिंग बिगनेस इन माई आर्म एंड लेग्स वी हैव टू वर्क ऑन स्प्लीन वी कैन सी दिस पैटर्न मेनी पर्सन इफ दे आर ओवर वेट दे आर नॉट एबल टू वॉक प्रॉपरली they are not able to hold their own weight on their legs humne dekha hai ki 120 kg ke log bhi apna wazan utha lete hain daud lete hain there are many athlete athlete they are 100 kg 120 kg they can run they can jump they can perform athletic activities there are many person having 100 kg weight they also can perform 90 kg also can perform but we have seen if spleen is b then your arm and leg will be weak all the four extremities will be weak even the person is 70 kg or the 80 kg and walking with the help of walker vyakti walker ki madad se ghum raha hai apna wazan nahi utha pa raha hai to jab bhi koi vyakti apna khud ka wazan na utha paaye apne pairon mein iska matlab hai ki uski spleen kamzor hai the spleen is weak the very important role i am going to discuss we can see this is the water how the water is going in the upward direction with the jet speed water is having great power in the same way spleen also lifting everything in the upward direction spleen ka kaam hai har cheez ko utha kar upar fekna spleen also lifting everything in upward direction the work of spleen to lift everything to upward right like for example we want to hold our skin that that will be lifted by the spleen if your spleen is weak then you are not able to hold the skin and there will be formation of the wrinkles agar spleen kamzor hogi to wrinkle ho jayenge the if spleen is lifting the breast upward if spleen is weak then breast are loose and hanging down अगर स्प्लीन मजबूत होगी तो ब्रेस्ट को होल्ड करके रखेगी नहीं तो ब्रेस्ट नीचे लटकेंगे इफ द स्प्लीन इज वीक योर टमी विल बी हैंगिंग डाउन आपका लटकता हुआ पेट नजर आएगा बिकॉज स्प्लीन उसे ऊपर नहीं उठा पा रही है इफ स्प्लीन इज वीक यू आर नॉट एबल टू सिट इरेक्ट आप सीधे नहीं बैठ पाएंगे थोड़ा सा बैठेंगे तो टेढ़े हो जाएंगे ऐसे इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सिट स्ट्रेट वेन वी आर डूंग योगा सुना ओके वी आर टेलिंग क्लोज योर आईज स्ट्रेट ऑन योर स्पाइन अपनी आंखें बंद करो स्पाइन को स्ट्रेट करो बट इफ स्प्लिन इज वीक विद इन फ्यू मिनट्स यू विल चेंज योर पॉस्चर यू विल नॉट एबल टू होल्ड योर स्ट्रेट पॉस्चर स्प्लिन कीपिंग यू इरेक्ट in the right sitting position spleen is holding the things in the upper direction so even we see if we talk about the anything which we want to send in the upper direction we know in the veins hamari jo vein hoti in the veins blood is moving to the upper direction हमारी बेन्स में जो ब्लड होता है वो अपर डायरेक्शन में जाता है दैट इज सेंड बाय स्प्लीन इफ स्प्लीन इज वीक यू विल नॉट एबल टू सेंड द ब्लड 
to the upper direction and will be suffering with the varicose veins. Varicose vein ke shikar ho jayenge. So what is varicose vein? Varicose vein means severe spleen deficiency. Spleen ki severe deficiency. That is varicose veins or we can tell spleen chi sinking. Ki jab spleen ki chi deficient ho jati hai lekin jab bahut hi jyada deficient ho jati hai to hum kehte hain sinking. That is varicose vein because spleen is not able to lift the blood up. If spleen is weak, the female will not able to hold the uterus and uterus will be prolapsing down. Uterus prolapse ho jayega agar spleen kamjor hai. Organ apni jage nahi reh paayenge, niche latkenge, rectum niche aane lagega, rectal prolapse ho jayega. The things are moving down. So the work of spleen always remember to lift the things in the upper direction. That is the work of spleen. <laughs> spleen control your mouth. Spleen is if the person is having some disharmony in the mouth. So we have to work on the spleen. Spleen ka area mouth hai. Jaise ki hum kehate hain. Nose is the window of lungs. Nag to lung ki khidki hai. Ear are the window of kidney. Kaan hamari kidney ki khidkiya hai. Eyes are the window of liver. Aankhe hamari liver ki khidkiya hai. Tongue is the window of heart or we can tell tongue is connected with heart. In the same way mouth is the window of spleen. So whenever you want to treat the mouth or the lips, always treat the spleen. When you want to treat the mouth or lips, you want to treat the spleen. Ko karna hoga. If your spleen is good, your mouth will be in the very good condition. If spleen is bad, there might be foul smell from mouth. Or the mouth will not be good, something or the other problem. Maybe problem in the gums, maybe problem in the upper palate, lower palate, teeth, somewhere, some problem. Even if you want to keep your lips healthy, your spleen should be good. The person is having a spleen disharmony, the lips will not be healthy. Unke lips healthy nahi honge. So, many times we are making the protocol for the cracked lips or any problem with the lips, we are working on a spleen. Even we talk about the saliva. Saliva is connected with the spleen. So many person having dribbling saliva. Kai logon ko sote samay saliva tapakta hai. Dekha hai kisi ko? Soke uthe hai to pura bistari jaha muh rakha ta pura bistar gila ho gaya. Have you seen? Yes. Many person are sleeping and when they are getting in the morning you can see the bed, the, we can see the saliva. There are two types of saliva. One is very thin saliva, another is thick saliva, which might be, which will be connected with the spleen. Can you tell me? Ek to patla saliva or ek gala. Gala or patla, konsa hoga? Bataiye. So thick saliva is connected with kidney thick but the thin saliva is connected with spleen many mental retarded kids having kidney problem kai bachche jo mental retarded hote hain they are having thick saliva coming out but if the saliva is very thin that is the disharmony of the spleen okay to the spleen ki disharmony just by looking the saliva 
if you see the saliva is coming out it is like a water it's very thin do the treatment of spleen chi deficiency aapko spleen chi deficiency ka treatment karna hoga so as per this image we can consider mouth is connected with spleen lips are connected with spleen and thin saliva is connected with the spleen on the other side if the saliva is thick that will be connected with kidney okay the test is due to spleen kal hum hamare friends ke sath baithe hue the humne pucha khana kaisa hai one person asked two person told wonderful very tasty food we are getting very tasty food in our mess every day two person told very tasty food two person told very first food food is the same khana wahi hai char log kha rahe hain do ko acha lag raha hai do ko kharab lag raha hai actually food is good or bad it's depend on our spleen if your spleen is good your hunger also will be good your taste bud will be good and you are getting the test from the food but if your spleen is not good then even you will give chhappan bhog the person will not be happy to kabhi aapke khane ki koi tareef na kare to uske spleen ko tonify kar dena khana to acche hi banta hai hamesha hai na <laughs> always do this if someone is telling you oh, food is not good then tell him okay from tomorrow i will treat you you are having spleen disharmony so test word in the mouth the test word located on the tongue they are sensing the different different types of the test we are having many different test like madhur sweet test sour means khatta salty means namkeen then pungent tikha tikha test bitter means kadwa astringent kasela we should have kasela astringent we are having various test hamare jeep par bahut prakar ke aise swad hote hain so there are six test so they are your test bud will be very good like sweet sour salty yani meetha khatta namkeen then pungent means tikha bitter means kadwa and astringent means kasela kasela jaise aamla hota hai meetha aur kasela you will feel all the taste you will feel sweet you will feel sour salty pungent bitter astringent all the taste if your spleen is good but spleen is more connected with sweet taste spleen is having more connection with the sweet taste so number 1 you are having good taste sensation if your spleen is good and the real test the spleen is connected with that is the sweet taste yahi karan hai ki jab bhi hamara spleen kamzor hota hai hame meetha khane ki craving hoti hai जब भी स्प्लिन कमजोर होगा हमें मीठा खाने की क्रेविंग होगी पहले जमाने में ये वाली मिठाइयां दी जाती थी प्रीवियसली वी वर ऑफरिंग दिस इफ ओके वी आर हैविंग यू आर वेरी टायर्ड ओके यू हैव डन लॉट्स ऑफ मेंटल वर्क बिकॉज मेंटल वर्क इज कंज्यूमिंग द पावर ऑफ स्प्लिन देन यू विल बी क्रेविंग फॉर स्वीट 
right? So sweet test is having connection with the spleen. Nowadays, people are little scared because many people are suffering with the diabetes and the sweet also not of that quality due to sedentary lifestyle. Many persons suffering with obesity. So they nowadays people are not taking the sweet like earlier. पहले की तरह अभी लोग मिठाइयां नहीं खाते पहले तो शादियों में पांच मिठाइयां तो पक्का होती चार लड्डू चार गुलाब जामुन दो बर्फी दो दो गुजिया और पहले उसी को खाते थे बाद में खाना चालू करते थे नहीं तो पेट भर जाएगा तो मिठाई छूट जाएगी है ना वेन आई वॉज किड देन आई इन आई इन माई विलेज माई everyone used to tell first finish mithai first finish sweet in the end you will not be able to eat them <laughs> so first we used to finish sweets then we start eating the food but now it is we are very much scared because we are not getting pure a very very impure like also we are our due to our sedentary lifestyle we are not able to digest and we eat too much we are getting bait so now it is be very scared so we just take like a prasad okay okay some is offering little done over but the sweet test is the test of spleen you will feel sometimes you have done lots of mental work you will be craving for sweet so many people eat chocolates or you if you eat some like sweet fruit like you eat mango or banana or something which is sweet in the nature you will feel very good satisfaction because sweet test will satisfy your spleen aapke spleen ko wo satisfy kar dega so sweet is the test of spleen in the tcm we are keeping spleen and pancreas both in under the earth element दोनों ही हमारे अर्थ एलिमेंट में आते हैं राइट सुनाओ इफ द पर्सन नाउ इट इज वॉट सब्जेक्ट इफ द पर्सन इज फीलिंग स्वीट टेस्ट इन माउथ यानी उसने कुछ मीठा नहीं खाया फिर भी मीठा मीठा फील कर रहा है माउथ में द पर्सन इज नॉट इटन एनी थिंग बट स्टिल फीलिंग स्वीट टेस्ट इन द माउथ दिस द डिसमनी ऑफ पेंक्रिया और स्प्लीन मेनी डायबिटिक पीपल माई फील दैट और मेनी पर्सन हैविंग स्प्लीन डिसमनी दैट दे माई फील इट बिकॉज स्वीट टेस्ट इज द इवन दे ईट बिटर दे फील स्वीट टेस्ट इन द माउथ कुछ भी खाएं उनको मीठे लगता है कई लोग ऐसा बोलते so that is the disharmony of earth element the very important thing that spleen is having connection with trust if spleen is weak then person will be not trust worthy आप ऐसे व्यक्ति पर ज्यादा भरोसा नहीं कर सकते जिसकी स्प्लीन कमजोर है इफ द स्प्लीन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग इफ स्प्लीन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग देन दीज पीपल आर वेरी मच ट्रस्ट वर्थी सो ट्रस्ट इज द वर्च्यू ऑफ स्प्लीन विश्वास ट्रस्ट स्प्लीन का वर्च्यू है गुण है एंड बी ऑल नो द कलर ऑफ स्प्लीन इज येलो स्प्लीन का रंग येलो है बी नो दैट द ओवर थिंकिंग और द एंजाइटी इज हैविंग डायरेक्ट कनेक्शन विद स्प्लीन अगर हम ज्यादा सोचते हैं तो हमारी स्प्लीन कमजोर हो जाती है ओवर थिंकिंग मेकिंग योर स्प्लीन बीक राइट बी एफ सीन समटाइम बी ओवर थिंक यू नो 
दिस इज दर्वे यू कैन अप्लाई ऑन योर सेल्फ आप अपने ऊपर एक्सपेरिमेंट करके देख सकते हो क्या एक्सपेरिमेंट टूडे ट्राई वन डे यू जस्ट डोंट गो इन दास्ट एंड डोंट गो इन द फ्यूचर जस्ट ट्राई टू एंजॉय योर प्रेजेंट मोमेंट वॉट एवर इट इज ना तो पुराना सोचो ना आगे का सोचो अभी का भी जो मोमेंट है उसे एंजॉय करो यू विल नॉट गेट टाइम यू कैन ट्राई इट ऑन यू बट वेन वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द पास्ट टू मच और वेन वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर टू मच अवर ऑल इनर्जी गोइंग बेस्ट बी अवर ऑल इनर्जी गेटिंग कंज्यूम वेरी वेरी फास्ट हमारी पूरी इनर्जी खत्म हो जाती है That's why kids never get tired. छोटे बच्चे कभी थकते नहीं क्यों नहीं थकते वो उन्हें भूख लगेगी उतनी खाएंगे सोचेंगे नहीं मुझे शाम तक नहीं मिला तो क्या होगा Have you seen that the kids is eating, storing the food till they, they will eat this much only till they feel hungry. If they feel hunger after two hours, again they will eat. But the adults might be thinking, "Oh, let's eat little more, because maybe I will not get dinner on the time." Kids always are living in the present. That's why they never get tired. बच्चे थकते नहीं है जल्द जल्दी और बड़े थक जाते हैं बिकॉज एडल्ट गेट टायर्ड बिकॉज दे आर डूइंग लॉट्स ऑफ एंगजाइटी दे आर डूइंग लॉट्स ऑफ ओवर थिंकिंग सो ऑल द स्केलेटल मसल्स ऑल द मसल्स एंड स्पेशली आई विल टेल स्केलेटल मसल द मीनिंग ऑफ स्केलेटल मसल सपोज दिस इज द बोन ये हमारी एक बोन है the muscle are attached with the bone this muscle is called skeletal muscle because this is moving the bone so all the skeletal muscle are connected with the spleen so if you are having any muscle disharmony you can work on the spleen aap spleen pe work kar sakte ho so in this way we have discussed many thing about the spleen now sitting too much is making your spleen weaker agar koi vyakti bahut zyada baithta hai to uski spleen kamzor ho jati hai so that's why nowadays because we are having too much sitting work we are working on the laptop we are working on the table that's why spleen is getting weak how many of you are doing table work for minimum 6 hours 6 ghante baithte hain kam se kam how many of you 6 hours it's a very common to sit for 6 hours and doing work suppose if you are going in so that's why you maybe your brother your sister your son your daughter your father mother someone who is working you can see them they are sitting for 4 6 hours 4 to 6 hours continuously 8 8 hours 12 hours log 8 8 ghante 12 12 ghante baith ke kaam karte hain so spleen is getting weak definitely if you are working continuously spleen will be getting to weakness so what is the solution solution is this that you do some yogasana do some exercises take the breaks take the hot herbal tea hot herbal tea ki garam garam herbal tea lijiye thoda break lijiye बॉडी को स्ट्रेच करिए रनिंग करिए कुछ गेम्स खेलिए एक्सरसाइज करिए डू दैट सम कार्डियो डू सम रनिंग डू सम एक्सरसाइज प्ले सम गेम्स डू योगा सुना डू द बॉडी मूवमेंट्स देन नो प्रॉब्लम 
then you can sit for longer duration and you can walk. The, this becomes very dangerous because when you are just working, working and not doing any physical work. If the spleen is weak, then it will form a dampness. Ye dampness ka nirman so we can see here this is the dampness. In the home, we know what is the dampness. In the body, dampness means this fat deposition. The meaning of dampness is the fat deposition or the cholesterol formation. That is the dampness. So if his spleen is weak, person will gather fat. If his spleen is weak, person will be getting unwanted boils. If his spleen is weak, person will be having laziness and drowsiness. Many person are having too much drowsiness or the lack of alertness kai logo ko bahut jyada hi aalas chada rehta hai that is due to dampness more the dampness more the laziness and if his spleen is weak person will be having too much overthinking or the multiple thoughts bahut jyada overthinking hogi aur multiple thoughts honge that's why Again, I will repeat why the kids are not getting drowsiness even after eating the meal. Khana khane ke baad hi bacho ko neend nahi aati. Ham sab ko aane lagti hai. Kyunki hamari spleen utni majboot nahi jitni bacho ki hai. We are not having that much strong spleen. So many person eating the food and they feel too much drowsiness. More the drowsiness means you are having too much weaker spleen. Jitni aapki spleen kamjor hogi, aapko utna hi alas chadega khana khane ke baad. That's why if you do fasting, if you don't eat the food, you will be very much alert. You will not be having drowsiness. You will not be having too much laziness. Agar aap fasting karte hain, to aapka shari alert rahega. But as soon as you eat the food and you are feeling too much of drowsiness, like Many person feel that much drowsiness they have to sleep for one or two hours. In that condition, we have to work on spleen. We have spleen to work on spleen. Now, very beautiful thing I would like to tell you. If you have spleen, you have to work on spleen. So, you have to work on spleen. You have to work Singing voice. Or we can tell melody voice. और वेरी रिदमिक वॉइस आपकी आवाज में रिदम होगा खरखराहट नहीं होगी सो so, खरखराहट मींस बिगन सील हॉर्सनेस नेस नहीं होगी हॉर्सनेस नहीं होगी खरखरापन नहीं होगा, unwanted louder नहीं होगी, फालतू की louder नहीं होगी, आपकी आवाज। So if the spleen is weak, person and so any singer coming to you, agar aapke paas koi singer aata hai, aur agar aap uski aabaj ko madhur banana chaate hai, to uski spleen ko strengthen kariye, strengthen spleen. More the stronger spleen, more the beautiful voice. Then you can sing the song. Aap gaana ga sakte ho. Many singers are coming to us. 
for the treatment of hoarseness of the voice then what we are doing we are strengthening the earth element हम उनके अर्थ एलिमेंट को स्ट्रेंथन करते हैं नाउ वन मोर थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू हियर वी कैन कंसीडर स्प्लीन विद द फायर वी कैन कंसीडर द स्प्लीन विद द फायर हु कन्वर्ट वाटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टीम जो पानी को स्टीम में बदलता है What is the meaning? Water might be impure. Water might be impure, but steam will be very, very pure, very, very refined. Steam will be very pure, very refined. So impure things are converted in the pure form with the power of steam. So steam is play very important role. That's why if the spleen is weak, then we are developing phlegm. We are developing dampness. So now tomorrow we will be discussing the disease which is happening due to the weakness of the spleen and the treatment. So there are four patterns of the weakness, two patterns of the excessive energies. So tomorrow we will discuss these four patterns of the weakness. and the two patterns patterns of the excessive chi kalam ye pattern samjhenge so let's close the session today aaj ke class ko yahan par viram dete hain ab hum milenge kal yani shanivar ko theek hai ab hum milenge kal yani shanivar ko let's meet you tomorrow thank you so much let's close the session good night